end of a line. And there were two different uh, things that they gave you in the beginning. And one, one example was they gave you the slope, for example. The slope is 5, and the line passes through. point six eight <coughs> write the equation so if they ask you this they want you to write the equation of the line given the slope is five and and it also contains a point of six eight so what you need to do is think of the uh, slope intercept form and keep in mind write it twice one one time is for the actual answer because this helps you write the equation it's like a model that tells you if you're able to plug in M and B or substitute M and B you're going to be able to express the equation Okay, and that's what they want you to do. They want you to write the equation. So all I have to do is plug in the slope. Keep in mind that this is a slope. And this is the y-intercept. Okay. So we, we're get, the reason I said to write it twice is because one, one is for the answer and the other one is to help you solve for something that you don't know. And that is? the value of D. So here we're given that M is M is equal to 5 and we're given a value of a point which is the X and the Y terms. So this is also the values of X and Y for, uh, for the equation at one point. So therefore, with that information, with both of these two informations, we're able to substitute on to the equation and replace every variable except for B. So therefore, I replace the M with a 5. I replace the X with a 6. Okay. So now, simplify both sides, and we'll simplify it to be able to uh, isolate the value of B. If we isolate the value of B, remember, we're going to be able to figure out what B is. So here, to leave B by itself, I need to subtract 30 to both sides. Okay, if I, if I were to subtract 8 to both sides, B would would have still a value on its side. So that's not what I want to do. I want to I want to find out what B is because I need to know B. So 38 negative 38 plus 8 is negative 22. Okay. Now, one thing that I should have written up here is see in the beginning we already knew what M was. So therefore in the beginning, we, we could have already had half of the answer. And the answer is, uh, would have been what? Well, M is 5, so we could have had Y is equal to 5X. But in this process here, I solved for B. So I have the other answer that I need, or the other information, right, that I need to actually uh, write the equation. So my other answer is is negative 22. Okay, so together they give me the equation. Okay, so simply 
this is what we need to know. We need to find M and B to be able to write an equation. And that's what we did here. This is what we've done. Okay, so you need to clarify your thoughts if you did have trouble in the past. Okay, this is example number one when, they, when they're giving you the slope and, uh, and a point. Okay, now, now when they give you uh, 